Okay, hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly channeled message. Let's find out what the message is for you in the current moment. My readings aren't date specific or time specific. They're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. Let's find out what messages would like to come through for you today. Okay, we have the spirit animal of the spider. So someone's weaving a web of magic. The spider is the manifesting energy. So when we're in the spider's energy, we're weaving our manifestation magic. So you might be a master manifester, Sagittarius, and I feel like you're weaving a web of magic. And I feel like your manifestations are starting to come into fruition. So you're in the spirit animal of the spider because you're weaving this magical web of, of manifesting. And I feel like things are, are coming into fruition that you've been thinking about or focusing on. Oh, okay. So I feel like you've initiated a powerful transformation in your life. So I feel like it's a divine feminine type energy or even a masculine energy. But um, when we're in that divine feminine energy, we are in that abundance empress type energy. So what's coming through with the divine feminine energy is you can be a man in a feminine energy, but it's that abundant energy of, you know, providing, um, you know, that new beginning, that birth, that fertility energy. So I feel like it's a feminine, a feminine empress energy, weaving a web of magic and initiating some kind of transformation in her life. So you're magically manifesting a beautiful amount of fertility and abundance in your life. And I really feel strongly that you're going through a powerful alchemy you're an alchemist and this usually represents a powerful inner transformation so i feel like you've done a lot of healing divine feminine your outer world's a reflection of your inner world you're manifesting some magic here and i feel like you've really initiated a powerful transformation in your life through the power of your consciousness so this is a really beautiful reading about ascension consciousness manifesting so you have some really powerful manifesting powers and you've been weaving that web of magic to internally change some thoughts and this is through med meditation through the use of affirmations through reprogramming your thoughts in your subconscious mind initiating this powerful alchemy in your life and really making sure that you shift things in a beautiful way so it's really coming through the reading that you're a magic manifester so we're going to find out a little bit more for you but that's the first message that's coming through you're manifesting magic in your life and it's abundance i'm feeling abundance and you're very fertile you're very fruitful and things are starting to um really come you know in a beautiful beautiful way for you into um your reality so let's see what else would like to come through for this message we have a peacock. <sighs> okay, so I feel like you might have been dealing with someone who's been a little bit shadowy. It's a masculine energy. We've got the Glanconas energy. I feel like he's been in his ego or pride or previously been making decisions about your connection from a place of ego and pride. It's a divine masculine who, who feels a really strong spiritual connection to you he has this strong magnetic pull but i feel like he's quite a good looking masculine energy and he's been a little bit prideful a little bit in his ego and i feel like he's watching you from afar right now and you're weaving this beautiful web in your life because you're focusing on yourself and it's quite abundant so i feel like he's like been in his ego and he's watching you and let's clarify one more energy <laughs> yeah so i feel like he's um he's coming up as the feline energy which is the cornered cat energy right so this could be connected to the leo reading so i feel like it's a divine feminine who 
has just been focusing on her own abundance, weaving a web of magic in her life, really focusing on healing her inner world. Her, and, and she's really trying to manifest creatively this abundant life. And I feel like she's been connected to a divine masculine energy. You could be on a, the twin flame journey, you know, however it applies for you. But it's a divine feminine energy who's with a masculine energy, who's been making decisions out of ego and pride. And it was because he was unhealed. So we have the felines energy. This is the cornered cat energy that came through the Leo branding. So I feel like he um, is very unhealed. He's very malnourished. And I feel like he's very wounded. And I feel like, you know, if you try to get intimate with this cat and you try to get him to express his feelings, he can get quite triggered. So he's got that cornered cat energy where, you know, he's got all his legs up against the wall and you've cornered him and he's like, I don't want to talk about my feelings. And he gets very, very triggered. But, and I feel like, you know, he was very prideful in the past about communicating or expressing his feelings. It's quite a good looking masculine energy. And he's probably been able to get away with his behavior with other women. They don't, they don't challenge him. They don't question his behavior. I feel like you might have shifted your focus and attention from him to yourself and to healing and manifesting a new beginning in your life. And you were kind of like, um, Either you deal with this and you ascend out of this ego energy, you rise to my level and meet me on my vibration and become an energetic match for me, or I leave you behind divine masculine. And I feel like you've been doing this dance with this divine masculine for a while. So, you know, if we, if we look at everything as energy, we've got the human vibrational scale of emotions. You know, pride is very low in the vibrational scale. Um, so this, this masculine was vibing quite low. He was in that lower vibrational energy. And this divine feminine is a master manifester and she knows, you know, joy is the ultimate creator. We need to be up higher if we're wanting to manifest. We can't be down in the lower frequencies or we manifest our fears. So it's a divine feminine who basically, you know, gave this divine masculine an ultimatum and she said, I want to be like in the higher realms. I want to be in the higher vibrational frequencies. Joy is the ultimate creator. I want to be happy because I want to create the life of my dreams. I don't know about you, but staying in your little cornered cat energy is very low vibrational. It's very dark. And I just want to rise like a phoenix and ascend. And this is like the card of ascension. So I feel like this muscle was like too egotistical, too prideful in the past to understand what you were talking about because this is a master manifesto this is someone spiritual this is someone very magical and she understands that everything is energy including money and she's like i'm not going to sit down here in this energy with you and be in the lower frequencies when it's blocking my abundance flow i'm gonna ascend like a phoenix rising and and create from a place of joy i would love it if you joined me to find masculine i would love it if we could manifest together we're more powerful when we're in the vibration of love so if you joined me on this journey the two of us would be a power couple we'd be manifesting together i'd share all of my wisdom with you and we could create the life of our dreams but you want to sit down here and be ego and prideful and fearful of love and the higher vibrations because you've been conditioned by society to think that this behavior is acceptable. But the spirit world has been trying to guide you. It's been trying to push you. It's been trying to nudge you. You've been getting downloads with your intuition about this, this kind of behavior. And, you know, it's really up to you to have the free will to make those changes. So I feel like a masculine is like watching you from afar. He's made the decision to be in this cornered cat energy. He watched you ascend and I feel like he's kind of watching you. And I think he's regretting his decisions to be in his ego, to be in his pride. But I feel like he's working through his lessons and trying to understand, you know, the benefits of not being in ego, the benefits of not being in your pride. So when we're in a state of pride, we're vibrating quite low. And we're blocking all of our abundance. So this divine masculine, by being in his ego, he's being divinely guided to ascend. He's being divinely guided to increase his his energy and ascend so that he can manifest and stop blocking himself from achieving all the things that you're achieving. And there could be an element of jealousy here. Like, why does she get everything? And the universe is like trying to shake this divine masculine going, if you just listen to us, and you just trusted and you just took a leap of faith 
you can have all these blessings too we're trying to guide you this divine feminine has been listening to the divine guidance we've given her and you have been in your ego and pride and you've been unhealed you've been um you know in that energy of like cornered cat energy which is stubbornness as well so i feel like this is a mess and it's like hmm what if I got out of my pride? Would I have those blessings? What if I got out of my ego? Could I create things for myself? Would I be able to create more money? Would I be able to create more abundance? You know, is my pride really holding me back that much? And he's kind of like, he's kind of paying attention to these guidance and he's kind of, you've got his attention and I feel like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a very good looking masculine energy. So he has a lot of pride of like changing and he's stubborn. So that's the situation. Let's find out what the connective energy is between you guys. Oh, see, you guys have this beautiful connection. So joy is the ultimate creator and we've got the spirit animal of the dolphin. So the reason you're being divinely guided to each other is because you guys you know, make each other so happy and joy is the ultimate creator. It's the ultimate manifesting tool. So the universe is like, hello, you guys make each other so happy. Get out of your ego, divine masculine, get out of your pride because then you can vibrate really high with this manifesting magic divine feminine over here and you guys would create an amazing life together. And so the universe and spirit is like divinely orchestrating and you've got divine middle ma management over here trying to bring you two together serendipitously because you'd be able to create a beautiful life and your connective energy is dolphin because you guys have this beautiful connection that's playful it's fun it's super high vibrational it's happy it's a beautiful energy and it would get you both into this really high frequency that would be able to manifest whatever it is you you're really looking at manifesting in your life because joy is the ultimate creator so the reason why joy is the ultimate creator is we have to feel that emotion before the, before you know it can transpire so you've got a divine feminine over here who wants to be happy because you know as she's weaving her her magic right she's thinking about her dreams she's thinking about everything and you know when you receive a new job or when you receive you know a pay rise or when you receive abundance in your life you become happy so you have to feel that energy of happiness before you receive it. You can't be like in this energy of jealousy. You can't be in this energy of ego. You can't be in this energy of fear. And that and that is like, you know, if you're trying to to manifest something positive, you have to think that positive thought and feel the positive thought of having it before it manifests. So the reason why spirits like divine masculine, you're blocking yourself by staying in this energy. You need to be up here with your divine feminine in the energy of joy, happiness, fun, because that's what you're going to be um, feeling when you when you create the life of your dreams. You're going to be happy that you got um, your business to start, you know, attracting lots of clients. You're not going to be angry. You're not going to be prideful. You're going to be like, oh my god, I I got an amazing client today. She booked all these things, and I made so much money. I'm so happy. And you're going to be in this vibration of the dolphin. So. This connection has been divinely orchestrated for the two of you guys, Sagittarius, to come together, to be in that flow state, to be in that energy, because joy is the ultimate creator, all right? So I really hope that this gives you some kind of, you know, insight into why spirit is so adamant on all of this. So joy is your secret weapon to create the life of your dreams. You need to vibrate in happiness. You need to flow in happiness, and you need to release the past pain of yesterday because that was from your previous feelings your previous thoughts your previous emotions before you were consciously co-creating and aware of all of this so we have to look at everything as the glass is half full and we have to have the emotion of feeling it as half full otherwise if we look at it as, as half empty and we're sad that it's half empty it will continue to remain half empty and we won't be living a fulfilled and happy life all right so that's the situation here Sagittarius if you're resonating with the message the link is below in the description box to the extended reading you can follow me over to Vimeo where you can access the reading individually or you can join my Patreon page for an entire month at a discounted rate really appreciate your energy exchange it keeps me on YouTube full-time otherwise i'll see you next time take care bye sagittarius